and God slayed me under the power of God and it had been raining and there was a tent meeting and the water had run under the tent and God couldn't let me keep my suit clean. He laid me right down in that mud hole. <laughs> right in that water. Baptized me with the Holy Ghost in mud. Hallelujah. But there was something else that went with that. The fire and it still burned. Yeah, right. You see a lot of people say, well I got the Holy Ghost, but I ain't got no fire. You ain't got the right kind. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what? You need to get to, you need to get something that's got fuel in it. Yeah. Something that'll burn. Something that'll set your heart on fire. Right. Something that'll make you want to go for God. You know, let, let me tell you something. If you don't have a desire to go and worship God, hallelujah, you need another touch. But brother, all the devil after me all day, bless his sweet name. <laughs> but I want to tell you something: the devil ain't gonna stay after me all day, bless his sweet name. I've got a name that's above every devil. I've got a name that's above. Hallelujah! Every human, I got a name that's above heaven yeah. and earth. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Shout for me, this is over. Come on. Jesus. Calvary is a reason why. Amen. Calvary is my refuge. Hallelujah. When Jesus went there, they literally stretched him out on the cross. Nailed. Brother Mitchell brought some. They've nailed like they used. Nailed him right through his hand. Dropped that cross down into a hole. Don't you know that hurt? Through his feet, through his hands. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You see all these things that got him tied on the cross. That ain't scripture. The Bible said they nailed his hands and his feet. That's right. He died nailed <laughs> to the cross. Right. Praise the Lord. I will tell you something. Whenever he died, and he began to speak his last words. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Eli, Eli. They said, hey, he's calling Eli. Hallelujah. Let's see if Eli comes to his rescue. You know what he done? He broke the bones of the legs of people that they hung. <laughs> but God's Bible, the prophet said, he ain't going to break his legs. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. They took his garment. They parted it. Tore it into pieces. They, they cast lots for it. All of that. That was God's word. That was the truth. That's what the Bible said was going to happen. But oh, let me tell you something. If you can just see beyond all of this, then you can see. <laughs> Hallelujah. How that he died for you and me. Amen. We sang about it. We preach about it. We shout about it. We talk about it. But there's nothing like having it down in here. Amen. 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 I can tell you about I can sit down. I don't know about y'all, but I like to go to Dear Queen. <laughs> and I like to go over there and I like to get say, give me, well, I'm say, give me just a little corn and dip some chocolate on it. I said, give me a big cone and give me some mushrooms to go with. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. I've even got one way to eat mushroom now. But listen, uh, but you know what I do? I take that big, great big old cone cream. It's back up here like this. Oh, is that good? Y'all just stop. Y'all, uh, listen, I, I'm sitting here, I'm eating this ice cream. Boy, yeah. Tina, this is really good. This ice cream. Oh, my, 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 my. Hallelujah. Don't you do me that way. <laughs> if you're going to tell me how good it is, you just buy me a cone. I'll sit there and eat it with you. <laughs> Come on now. I want to tell you something. Hallelujah. I want to tell you about Jesus tonight. I want to tell you about Jesus. I want to tell you. Hallelujah. I don't want you to just sit there and hear what I say. But I want you to taste and see. Hallelujah. That the Lord is good. It tastes like honey. Hit a rock. Yeah. Yeah. There's power in it. There's anointing in it. There's blessing in it. Hallelujah. There's something real about Jesus. Yeah. 
Calvary had a lot of pain in it. He suffered in all parts. Like we do. He understood. He's acquainted with our grief. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah said he's, 53 said he's acquainted with our grief. He was bruised for our iniquity. Yes. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. I want y'all to know something. Hallelujah. Oh, Isaiah looked out through time. And he began to see that Lamb of God that left heaven and came all the way to Calvary. Whenever they asked him, Are you the King of the Jews? He never said a word. Are you that Christ? Are you that Jesus? He didn't say a word. He said, thou, thus thou sayest first, and then he didn't say nothing. Hallelujah. Why? Because he come and brought one of the biggest sacrifices. The bullocks. Hallelujah. The lambs. The pigeons. The turtle doves. All of them were wrapped up in one <coughs> called the Son. And he came. You know what he done? He said, Well, Lord, I see you. I see you out there. Hallelujah. Seven, several thousand years I see you. Hallelujah. Ready to do something for me. You just don't know it yet. You ain't been born yet. Tell you know, he saw you. Hallelujah, Dad. He saw you. Now see, he saw you. God saw us. Hallelujah. And when he saw us, he turned the light on us. Yes. Predestinated a plan, rolled it out through time, and said, if you will, walk on it. That's your choice. Amen. Amen. That's your choice. 